Hello everybody, welcome back to page 44 of reading The Lord of the Rings, one page a day. We're of course still working on The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the very first book of a trilogy. Well, you know it by now. Prior to the start of this video, I want to tell you something. Um, something's been going on behind the scenes, which I will tell you about in a later video. Um, for now, I'll keep it a bit more global, I'd say. Um, I'm about to do the biggest thing that I've done in my life so far. Um, it's, a, it's a personal step. Um, but I do want you to know that if there are some days where I cannot upload, um, it's because I'm doing something very important. I'll tell you more like about everything, um, maybe in a community post or in like a video or something. Uh, it's a very big step. It takes a lot of time. Uh, it, it's got something to do with moving houses as well, uh, also to a different country. Um, so yeah, it, it takes some uh, it takes some time. But anyways, let's get into page 44 of The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's dive right in. Also, I think you have had it quite long enough. You won't need it anymore, Bilbo. Unless I'm quite mistaken. Bilbo flushed and there was an angry light in his eyes. His kindly face grew hard. Why not? he cried. And what business is it of yours anyway, to know what I do with my own things? It is my own. I found it. It came to me. Yes, yes, said Gandalf. But there is no need to get angry. If I am, it is your fault, said Bilbo. It is mine, I tell you. My own. My precious. Yes. My precious. The wizard's face remained grave and attentive, and only a flicker in his deep eyes showed that he was startled and indeed alarmed. It had been called that before, he said, but not by you. But I say it now, and why not? Even if Gollum said the same once, it's not his now, but mine, and I shall keep it, I say. Gandalf stood up. He spoke sternly. You will be a fool if you do, Bilbo, he said. You make that clearer with every word you say. It has got far too much hold on you. Let it go, and then you can go yourself and be free. I'll do as I choose, and I go as I please, said Bilbo obstinately. Now, now, my dear hobbit, said Gandalf. All your long life we have been friends, and you owe me something. Come, do as you promised. Give it up. Well, if you want my ring yourself, say so, cried Bilbo. But you won't get it. I won't give my precious away, I tell you. His hand straight to the hilt of his small sword. Gandalf's eyes flashed. It will be my turn to get angry soon, he said. If you say that again, I shall. Then you will see Gandalf the Grey uncloaked. He took a step towards the hobbit, and he seemed to grow tall and menacing. His shadow filled the little room. Bilbo backed away against the wall, breathing hard, his hand clutching at his pocket. They stood for a while, facing one another, and the air of the room tingled. Gandalf's eyes remained bent on the hobbit. Slowly, his hands relaxed, and he began to tremble. And as he began to tremble, uh, we are going to end the episode, which is why we're going to stop here. We're going to be back tomorrow with page 45 of The Fellowship of the Ring. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you right here tomorrow for yet another video.